Welcome to another video. You may have in the past used the digital or resistive thermal sensors, which are fine for generally zero to around 100 degrees C. Um, but sometimes you might want to go a little further. So today we're looking at the Max 6675 board and the K-type thermocouple as shown here. And these can be found for as little as $5, meaning we can use a much wider range of temperatures up to 1024 degrees C. As you can see here, we've used a blowtorch to test this, as well as our picnic pizza oven. So first we went and downloaded the Adafruit SSD 1306 library for our little OLED screen, which requires the Adafruit GFX library as well, and of course the Max 6675 library, so that we can work with the thermocouple. So there are examples in all of these libraries, and there is a link in the description to all of these libraries as well as the sketch that we used shown here. So we simply loaded our project in Visual Micro and set our board and COM board as normal. And this will output the temperature every second on the screen and via the serial as well. So we just selected our board and done the build and upload as normal. And then we've wired up our ESP32 in this case, but it could be virtually any Arduino board, to our Mac 6675 and our display. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video, and please do check out the other videos on our channel. So here it is, running with the actual brulee torch, a small butane-powered blowtorch. So this is going to get very hot, it does actually start glowing red at one point, so a bit more than your normal temperature sensor. And if we just flick back to the software, you can see the temperature being output every second and climbing quite rapidly while we're, we're using the blowtorch. And then of course it starts cooling quite rapidly as we take it away. So very simple, but very powerful, because you get 0.25 resolution over the entire temperature range as well. And then here's a quick time lapse of our little picnic pizza oven running and we inserted the temperature sensor right at the back in that wall of flame. And you can just see the screen with the refresh going at about 400 degrees.